Yo, welcome back to the channel of the Buff Nerd. If you're a new watcher, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you're a returning watcher, please like and subscribe to the channel. Support me from your end so I can support you from this side of the fence. So, today's topic. So, remember the last video where I told you guys that not a lot has been going on and, you know, I've kind of just been you know, just working. I haven't been doing anything extravagant, not trying to, you know, forge ahead when it comes to the certifications and all that jazz. Well, that has changed, okay? Last year, around this time when I uh, slowed down on the content, you guys probably remember me going to Cisco Live. Every year, the organization that I work for um, has opportunities available for, you know, some of the engineers and whomever's interested to travel out to Cisco Live. Um, usually it takes place in, well, not usually, but it takes place in Las Vegas. There's a couple of different ones. There's ones in Amsterdam and in other countries and whatnot. But um, the one that we usually go to is in Vegas. You go out there for about a week. Um, you make a game plan when it comes to the seminars that you're going to attend. For me, it was mainly wireless focus, but you could focus on anything. You could focus on security, data center stuff, uh, virtualization. You could focus on anything. Anyways, last year, um, I got the opportunity to go to Cisco Live, and it was great. I loved it. It was awesome. Um, I got to attend some very high-speed uh, wireless uh, seminars and classes, and um, it was a whole situation. I learned about some of the newer wireless technologies that are coming out. Um, we talked a great, a great deal about Wi-Fi 7, but... Anyways, point is, last year, I got the chance to do that, and um, it was great, it was wonderful, um, it was it was somewhat difficult, because since it was my first time attending a conference like that, you know, I had to kind of get my footing when it came to, you know, just having to deal with Vegas, and also deal with the conference, you know, and then I was there with a team, and, you know, we all had to coordinate with each other's schedules, and although... You know, it did. It, it wasn't nothing too difficult. You know, it was still, it was still a, a very overwhelming, very, very uh, stimulating. Let's just put it like that. And then on top of that, you're expected to, you know, soak up all of this information. Uh, so, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I definitely go again. But this year, I'm going to do something a little different. So over the past few months, I've been wondering, you know, exactly what certification am I going to try and go for next? Am I going to try and even go for a certification? You know, I've been pondering on this for the last. 10 months or so um, I had spent so much time just kind of you know working on myself and things that you know I was like okay well we'll worry about that later later is now and I've been going back and forth with myself on exactly what I wanted to go for because uh, if you don't already know my name is Brendan the buff nerd I have the CCNA I have the CCMP enterprise with a concentration in wireless design I'm currently a wireless network engineer with that being said you know, what avenue am I going to go from here? There's a few different directions that I could go. Um, I've considered going for the CCIE in wireless because when it comes to the uh, enterprise uh, avenue of the CCMP, they have a CCIE specifically tailored to wireless. I've thought about backtracking a little bit and going for the NRC, which is the advanced routing certification when it comes to the CCMP. Back in the day before um, the big apocalypse happened, uh, the advanced advanced routing was the standard or the more most common CCMP concentration that people would get. You know, people could get it in security and all this other stuff, but advanced routing was usually the one that people would get when they were trying to get the CCMP back in the day. I've thought about backtracking and getting that. I've also gotten interested in DevOps. Long story short, all this time I've been trying to figure out exactly what I am going to do next when it comes to my career and trying to forge ahead. And of course, it's around that time where my team is starting to gear up and plan out who's going to be going to Cisco Live or not. After talking with um, a few people on my team, we decided that instead of going to Cisco Live, we wanted to get all access subscriptions to Cisco U. What is Cisco U? Cisco U, AKA Cisco University, I think. That's the only thing that would make sense. Anyways, Cisco U is a learning platform created by Cisco uh, with a plethora of information uh, for just about anything you can or need to do when it comes to Cisco. Um, it is a learning platform that tailored towards specific certifications. Um, it is a learning platform that can tell you how to migrate from certain technologies to others. Like for instance, um, it has a whole course of breakdown of how to migrate from using Cisco Prime, which is like a centralized management platform to Cisco DNA or DNAC. So um, 
I'm gonna take a second, I'm gonna show you guys uh, a little of what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. All right, so um, some of you may be a little bit more familiar with uh, some of the things that I'm talking about, but this is just a small, very small, very quick history lesson for anybody that's not familiar. So um, Cisco U is rather new, um, but before there was Cisco U, there was Cisco Digital Learning. And this right here is the Cisco Digital Learning website. So um, back when I was trying to get the CCMP in wireless, um, for those of you who don't know, um, I failed it. I failed it twice. And I had did all of the studying that I could. I used everything from the Cisco uh, Cisco, um, Cisco Official Cert Guidebook. Uh, what else? The, the CBT Nuggets course that was like a, uh, how long was it? It was like a 25 to 30 minute course. Um, I used every avenue that I could. And it wasn't until I found the, uh, uh, the wireless design course on the Cis uh, Cisco Digital Learning website where I was able to truly get all of the information I needed in order to finally pass the CCMP uh, wireless design certification on my third try. Um, yeah, it's this uh, website right here. So, you know, you can browse here. They got uh, all kinds of things that you can find that you can, you know, deal with uh, mobility and wireless. This is one of the ones that I did. I mean, they don't give you everything, but yes, they have very specific courses. This is the design course that I did. It was a 40 hour course. Um, I had to pay for it individually. I believe it was expensive, man. It was like $600, but that $600 gave me everything that I needed in order to uh, pass the certification. But yeah, this is the old website. Um, it's in the midst of being not necessarily converted, but being changed to uh, the Cisco U website. So let's go back to Cisco U. Ah, here it is. All right, so this is the Cisco U um, website right here. It is uh, very similar to what you guys just seen when it came to uh, Cisco Digital Learning. Um, it is a website where you can learn just about anything <laughs> that you need to know when it comes to Cisco. Um, I haven't really got a chance to play around with it yet, but here's the thing. Um, our company just got all of us access to this website, so I definitely intend on using it. It got everything that you can think of, everything from CCMP Enterprise, DevNet Collaboration, CyberOps, Data, everything, everything. They even got associate, uh, associate level certifications and things that you can get if you know you're at the lower level when it comes to uh, getting certifications for networking. Uh, let's see what else it got. Let's go to Explore. All right, so they have learning paths, which is awesome. And these paths are very specific to whatever it is that you want. Um, I haven't really dove down it just yet, but if there's something specific that you want to learn about, then that's this is probably where you will find it. They, they do have some free stuff. Um, occasionally, what they'll do is they'll uh, they'll put out a course that talks about something very specific. Um, last year around Halloween, I believe they put out um, a cyber ops um, a cyber ops course, and it gave you like 16. Um, uh, was it like 16 or 20 CUs? I can't remember. Long story short, occasionally they drop free stuff just to kind of help people renew their certifications or just to give people an idea of some of the stuff that they're uh, working on teaching. But yeah, so what I've been doing is I've been trying to figure out exactly what direction I want to go. I've been trying to figure out exactly how I want to move forward when it comes to getting certifications. And this is going to be the platform that I use to do so. Hmm, let's see. For you, let's solve this. Ah, okay, so yeah, these are some, some of the things. This Was this it? I believe this is it. This is one of the free courses that uh, they provided for us a while back. And it was, yeah, it was 30 credits. It was a 27-hour course. Um, at the time, I didn't do it because, like I told you guys, I was stressed out. But that's one thing that they do every now and then just to provide us with some free stuff and, you know, give us uh, an opportunity to help renew our certs. Let's see. All right, so, for instance, let's go to, let's go to Enterprise. Learn more. All right, come here. All right, very detailed. It let you know why you get the CC, CCMP. I mean, this is just this is trying to sell you on anything. But yeah, out of these seven avenues, I currently have one. I have the 300 425 wireless design concentration. I'm trying to decide where to go from here. What I might end up doing, to be completely honest with you guys, is the NRC. That's the advanced writing certification that I just told you. Get, ooh, goodness. That's the advanced writing certification that I just told you guys about. The one that everybody usually gets when they go for the CCMP. 
we'll see we'll see we'll see so yeah it is time to kick it back into high gear and keep forging ahead and becoming a master of the universe of networking i'm still not sure exactly how i'm going to get there but i'm gonna get there okay okay with y'all watching i'm gonna make sure i get there i'm strongly leaning towards the nrc um going for the ccie might be a little intense right now um i'm still you know doing a lot of stuff personally that would probably prevent me from really being able to put the pedal to the metal when it comes to it um i'm still uh just getting my brains together you know fixing up this house um making sure that i continue with therapy making sure that i'm pouring back into brendan and not only pouring into the buff nerd doing my best to uh, maintain a work-life balance and not you know getting to the points where i go off the rails again so yeah the ccie probably you know wouldn't be the best option right now um i probably have to wait until i'm in a little bit more of a a solid stable you know situation where i can actually dedicate roughly a year to uh getting that uh, i've talked to a couple of buddies um that i work with one that does have the ccie and wireless and he had to dedicate a lot of time and it didn't necessarily put a strain on his family but it kind of put a strain on his family but anyways anyways so what i'm probably gonna end up doing man is going for the nrc i'm gonna go for the advanced routing and uh it's something about the advanced routing that really piques my interest because uh it dives deeper into you know all of, co of course all of the routing protocols uh eigrp ospf vgp all that jazz and it gets really into the weeds and one thing that i've always uh also been debating is potentially pivoting towards cloud because uh word on the streets is network engineers are starting to fizzle out a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure how true that is um but i have seen a couple of videos where people are talking about how being a network engineer isn't what it used to be but that's a video for another day but i just wanted to tap in with you guys let you guys know that you know it's time to get serious man it's time to get serious the weather's getting warm the sun's staying out longer and that seasonal depression that tends to beat us all down during those winter months is starting to lift which means we need to start lifting be it when it comes to certifications or being in a gym and putting 405 on that squat rack it is time to kick it into high gear. What do you guys got going on? Are you guys doing the same thing that I'm doing? Are you guys trying to get a new certification? Are you guys trying to land a new job role? Tell me what's going on with you guys. It's been a while since I've listened to you guys and potentially have made content based off of some of the things that you want. I'm gonna dive a little bit deeper on that whole cloud network engineer you know, conversation that I was just mentioning earlier. And I'm gonna pick you guys' brains and see, you know, how you guys feel about it and see what all it takes in order to convert from being just your standard network engineer or a wireless network engineer in my case to being a cloud engineer or something along those lines that's all i got for you guys today um i hope you guys are taking care of yourselves i hope you guys are working hard staying you know staying motivated all that good stuff as always stay safe stay positive learn everything rest if you need it get therapy clean your house Go to the gym and pick up something heavy. The sun is out, okay? The sun is out. So so y'all know what that mean, right? Y'all know what that mean. Get to it.